Hello Java devs, in this video series we will cover how you can automate your regression testing with just one dependency. You will learn how to get started, record and replay Java methods, add assertions to these replays, track code coverage and mock dependencies. Unlock records method input and return values automatically. Every time you make a code change, you can hot reload these changes and replay the previously saved values. You can get instant alerts if your code changes are causing any regressions. So here is our demo project. This project is available on GitHub for you to try. You can install the plugin from JetBrains Marketplace. And the first thing you need is add unlocks SDK in your code. See those red icons next to the methods? Click on any one of them. You will see the dependency to add. Add it to your pom.xml. If you are running a Gradle project, you can add the relevant Gradle dependency. Add at unlocked annotation above your main method. Here is an important step. Maven clean or Gradle, Gradle clean your project. This deletes the target folder and builds it with unlock the next time you run it. Now start your project in debug mode. The red icon will now turn to cyan. This means that unlock is now ready to start recording method inputs and return values. Click on a gutter icon next to any method. You can call this method with relevant arguments from direct info and see the response of such methods. See the icon turning pink? It means that the replay is available for a method. Click on the replay tab and see the list of candidates available to replay. Now. When you make a code change, you can see the bolt icon. This means that the method is changed and needs to be replayed. Let me click on it. Now it hot reloads this change into the running process and replays all the candidates and shows their execution result. By default, unlock compares return values as they are. But return objects may have ever changing fields like timestamps, right? We may not want to compare them on every replay. So in our next video, we will cover how to define custom assertions. Stay tuned. Happy coding.